Hi everyone, welcome to another Sky Perspective video. In this video, we'll take a look at how easy it is for us to connect this Dell multi-device keyboard and mouse to our Windows 11 computer, how fast we can switch this keyboard and mouse between devices, and finally, take a quick look at how good is the Dell Peripheral Manager app that comes with this keyboard and mouse. So this is my ASUS ZenBook Duo laptop running Windows 11 and I have Windows Swift Pair turned on on this laptop, meaning it will prompt me if there are any Bluetooth devices attempting to connect to the laptop. And this is the first time I'm connecting the device slot number 3 of this keyboard and mouse ever since I took them out of the box. Device 3 was never connected to any device before. Now all I did was switch the connection to device 3 on the mouse and I got this prompt. So I press connect and that's it. The mouse device 3 slot is now connected to my laptop over Bluetooth. This is easy partly because I have Windows 11 Swift Pair switched on. Now let's do the same for the keyboard. I switched over to device 3 and once again, my ASUS laptop Windows Swift Pair prompted and asked me if I wanted to connect. I said yes, go ahead and connect. And then it asked me to enter a pin using the keyboard for security reasons. And once I enter the pin correctly, it's connected. If you hadn't realized, I actually connected both the mouse and the keyboard in less than a minute. Now what about repairing or reconnecting when device slot number 3 has already been paired with my laptop? I'm happy to say that it is pretty easy and intuitive too. So let's say I want to reconnect device slot number 3 again and this time to my Samsung Android tablet. All I have to do is to switch to device 3 and even though it automatically connects to my laptop I can overwrite that and make it go into pairing mode by pressing and holding on to the button. Flashing light means it's in pairing mode trying to connect to a new device for device slot number 3. So on my tablet, I can scan for the keyboard. And there we go, it has found it. Once again, I need to type a security pin to confirm and the keyboard device slot number 3 is now connected to the tablet. Repairing the mouse is pretty much the same, so I won't bore you with it. And now, let me show you how fast we can switch between devices. This is normally how I use this keyboard and mouse when I'm at work. For both the keyboard and mouse, I've got device 1 connected to my work laptop using the USB receiver. Device 2 is connected to my personal laptop. Oh, by the way, this keyboard and mouse combo only comes with one USB receiver. Okay, now let's start the demo. So switching between devices on this Dell keyboard and mouse is pretty fast compared to the Microsoft Designer Compact keyboard, which has the same single toggle switch button. 
I have another previous video on this Microsoft Designer Compact keyboard, showing how slow it switches between devices. Follow the link appearing on the top right or in the description of this video. As with this Dell Peripheral Manager app, it's feature rich and pretty comprehensive. Just like the industry leading Logitech Option app, except it doesn't have Logitech Flow to seamlessly switch between computers. If you want to know more about Logitech Flow, click on the link appearing on the top right or find it in the description below. Now, the first thing I like about this Dell Peripheral Manager app is that it shows the computer name that the Bluetooth device slot number 2 and 3 are connected to. Even the Logitech Option app does not do this. This Dell Peripheral Manager app also allows us to change the mouse DPI sensitivity settings. All the three buttons on the scroll wheel, left, right and center clicks are reconfigurable. And these are the options we can configure. Yes, we can assign keystroke assignments. However, unlike the Logitech Option app, this Dell Peripheral Manager app does not allow us to assign a different set of actions for different types of applications on our computer. For example, my front and back thumb buttons on my Logitech mouse is for scrolling left and right for my HitFilm Express application. And it's the default front and back action for my browser and all other applications. Dell Peripheral Manager app does not allow us to customize actions for various different applications. As for the keyboard, all the function keys from F1 to F12 are reconfigurable and the configuration options are similar to the ones for the mouse, as I've shown earlier. Now one unique thing I really like about this Dell keyboard that most other keyboards don't have is this dedicated calculator key and this clear entry key. Yes, this is the CE key we typically find on physical calculators. It's really convenient to know that I've got all the calculator keys on the right side of this keyboard. Oh, and there is also this plus minus toggle key for us to flip the current value to positive or negative. These are all commonly used buttons and it's nice of Dell to actually put that on this keyboard. If you want to see the unboxing experience, typing demo and hear the typing and clicking sound of this Dell multi-device keyboard and mouse, click this video appearing on the screen right now. In this next video, I focus on showing you the close-up physical look of this Dell keyboard and mouse including the battery and USB receiver magnetic storage compartment. Thanks for watching and I'll see you over there in the other video.